<laughs> Unless you don't want to be in YouTube. <laughs> I would love that. You want? <laughs> Tell me, question that. What do you do on board? I do, as a Christoph, I do hosting and activities and on board of Quantum of the Seas. Hello, my name is Russell. <laughs> Russell, are you excited to get back in service? Of course, it's been like nine months I've been back home, so it's really amazing to get back. I'm so blessed. Well, you can't have a cool part. If you could, uh, would I have already done it? Yeah. Where is Izumi? Thank you, man. You're the best. I never knew that I was good at reading lips until people started wearing masks. In fact, if you would have asked me before, can you read lips, I would have told you, nope, I can't. But now I'm starting to realize it, and the fact that I'm realizing this is because people come and ask me a question or talk to me, and I can't, I can't understand what they're saying, especially if it's a different accent. So I tend to come closer, which is a paradox because we're supposed to be kind of further from each other now. But many times my instinct is I can't understand what you're saying, I'll come closer and I'm trying to look here, but I can't see that. And it's making, maybe this is gonna make us better at reading eyes. Think about it. Now that we can't read lips and you are so programmed and used to do that, we're gonna start reading people's eyes. I'm looking much more into people's eyes now, trying to understand their emotions my brain is trying to fill up the gap that is missing from just automatically analyzing his whole facial expression is he happy is he sad is he joking when people say jokes now it's even harder because someone will come and say jokes especially if it's a cynical joke usually you'd kind of realize he's joking because you'll smile or there'll be something different about his face now you only see the eyes and if someone have a poker face eyes like james bond eyes it's really hard <laughs> to know if he's laughing with you or not. So, why am I wearing this in my room? What I'm trying to say is, I'm not here to talk about masks. I'm here to talk about something super cool and exciting, actually. We are in our first 
cruise ever our first official Royal Caribbean cruise since the beginning of the pandemic this is the first ship to start cruising and this is the first cruise and today I had my first Izumi which was amazing I've been dreaming about this Izumi for so long now when we were floating in the ocean for months just sitting by the pool looking at the sky and the horizon and just waiting for something to happen and now I remember I was literally dreaming because I just love that's one of the best sushis I've ever had in my life truth be told anyhow this is an exciting day and one of the first things that helped me understand that we are fully back to service because you see it's like a dream still you know we got so used to not having guests and also not knowing when will we have guests and suddenly the first guest came aboard and you wake up and you go in the esplanade and you see them walking around drinking their coffee go to the casino <laughs> how are you doing good 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 how does it feel to be back on service Amazing. I mean, blessed, of course. Especially blessed. Blessed, right? One of the chosen. <laughs> One of the chosen. To be back. How did it feel to see the first guest coming on board? It feels surreal, you know, because we were not expecting that we were coming back this early as this year. I mean, this year. So. Excited. Feeling happy, <laughs> excited, right. yeah. Genesee? Yeah. That's a cool name. Thank you, Genesee. Have Thank a good you. day. Exciting super cool I'll go to the pools go to the shows and it's just walking and it, it's kind of surreal it feels so unreal and so exciting at the same time so one of the things that really made it fall down here that we are back to service is actually these bionic bars these robots have been still a long time and today I was walking by they're going to eat some sushi and suddenly they went like making their drinks that was amazing <laughs> just went whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> amazing i was looking at them and i said like yeah i was like pinching myself this is not a dream we are back at service how did it, how did it feel when the first guest came on board oh it it's overwhelming i mean it's really good the guests are really amazing it's happening and not only that it's happening guys it's working we got the uh, official approval from the governments here from the ministry of health from anyone that needs to be involved showing that yep you guys got it right you can start doing it and it's working so i'm so excited and i really hope not only me i've been hearing that from a lot of crew members we kind of having here this feeling that we're not doing this only for ourselves but we're doing it for our friends and our families because we're hoping that once they see that we can do it that this can work that we can have a cruise, that guests can come and enjoy a wonderful experience and crew member can come and get their jobs back and travel the world and be in the ship which is our home away from home. We are, we're having this feeling that we're doing it for our friends back home. Hoping that once they see that we can make it happen, that this can work, more ships will get their chance and more companies will get the chance and more crew members will get their jobs back and more guests will be able to come and cruise so I'm really hoping that this is gonna spread out and show the world that even though the pandemic is out there, with the right limitations and restrictions, with the right public health instructions and discipline to follow, we can still make it happen and people can still enjoy to a certain degree what used to be normal. Going to a vacation, going to a bar, going to a restaurant, swimming at the pool, and just having the freedom to walk around and enjoy a good vacation so guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode it's gonna be a short one but it's an exciting one and you might see that i look very tired it's because we've been working endlessly days and night working to prepare this whole operation so i'm excited and i hope you guys are excited and until then Bye bye, Lito Oat, Ma Salami, Akhbidan Zay, and of course, I forgot how to say it in Chinese. Someone need to write it down for me. And in case you're wondering, this is the official Royal Caribbean face mask for the employees. I, I don't know if it's cool, I don't like the face masks, but it's a necessity and we have it, so it's cooler than the ones we had before. And also, we are royal, friendly, passionate, and committed.
<laughs> ciao, ciao. You're amazing. You're amazing. Thank you. Better than I ever could have said it. So. <laughs> Much more professional than me, this guy. Much more. It is exciting, really. It's proud me. Just like you said, it's a bit overwhelming even. Especially seeing all these crew coming back to service. Hey guys, after such a long vacation back home and this is their job, this is what they're passionate about, this is what they've been waiting to do, training to do, working hard and this is also how they support their families back home and work towards their life dreams and goals. So seeing all the guests back coming here is just, it's amazing. It's a really cool feeling. Actually, it is. It's just exciting. Anyhow, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today' first cruise ever for Royal Caribbeans since the beginning of this pandemic. So I hope. Hey, how are you? Good. Yes. Sir. How are you feeling nice. being on the first cruise? Super so is good. Everything's good. Yeah, just <laughs> normal vacation. Just normal. Okay. Thank hello, you. Hello, hello. hello ladies. Hello. <laughs> what is that? From Mabuhay country, from the Philippines. Hey man, that's beautiful. Thank you. So yeah, it's just exciting. <laughs>